Welcome to another video. Today we will be showing how to get your Sega J-Link probe set up with the Arduino Portenta H7 for the M7 core. This allows up to 8 breakpoints and 4 watchpoints at the same time. Currently this is only available for the M7 core and we are working on the M4 core integration at the moment. We will update when this and the ST-Link probe are available in Visual Micro. So first we will need to connect our J-Link to our PC and change the driver from the J-Link driver to the Win USB driver using the Zadig tool. If you load Zadig and then select Tools and list all devices, we can then select the J-Link device from the drop-down list. Ensure the Win USB driver is selected and then press Install Driver. This can take a few minutes. Once this is completed, we can close the Zadig tool. Next, we will need to disconnect the Sega from our PC and wire our Portenta breakout board to the Sega J-Link, which requires a converter from the MIPS 20-pin connection to the standard JTAG connection on the J-Link. Note, the J-Link does not supply power to the Portenta in our wiring diagram, so ensure the Portenta has its own power supply connected. We already had connectors of the right size, so decided to make our own to connect them together, and the wiring diagram for this is shown here. Pre-built connectors are available from Sega to convert it between the MIPS connector and the Sega connector. Next, ensure that you have both of the boot selection pins on the breakout board set to off, otherwise the chip won't boot when connected to the breakout board. Now we can connect them both to the PC and load a project in Visual Micro and select our Portenta H7M7 from the board list dropdown. Now select the hardware debugger as the J-Link. If we put the Portenta into bootloader mode with a double tap of the reset button, we can then select the Upload COM port from the drop-down list. You can also select the Portenta Serial port from vMicro, General, Monitor Alternative if needed at this point. Finally, we can build and upload our code and then press Debug Attached Process to enter the program where it is currently running. We can also use debug start debugging to perform the upload and debug session start in one step. Now we can step through our code, reconfigure the break and trace points and watch variables with further detail on how to use hardware debugging in Visual Micro shown in the top right. We will do another update soon when the M4 core debugging and the ST-Link probe is available in Visual Micro. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let us know if any other features or information is needed in the comments.